Hello friends, it's Shadow Ready here, playing some more World of Warships slash teaching more World of Warships. And today we are covering the final class as of this moment in time, the Carriers. The good old Carriers. Um, there's going to be two parts to this. The how to deploy your airplane port and the basically your ship part. Well, let's start with the ship part because that's the easiest thing. Um, so for example, if I am up here at the top where I spawn, I will literally just park this sucker probably right here and I am completely safe, you know? Um, and then I will still periodically watch the map just to make sure that neither of these flanks are, um, being lost. And if it is being lost, depending on which side it is, I'm going to go in the opposite direction. That's the basic version of it, right? Now... There, there is another version that you can do. Um, say you don't have any islands, kind of like this spawn down here. So what you could do, in theory, and if you're tactically sound and you want to both maintain both your planes and your ship, crazy concept, I know, um, but you can be a little bit more tactical with this. Um, is like, for example, you can come up to here maybe you can get here, but for the most part, you can be like right here and you're not going to be spotted for the most part. And then you're going to be faster to launch your planes and help capture this point right here. Um, but with that being said, once again, you have to be very cautious because if you're in a slow aircraft carrier, you could get caught out. Um, like say somebody comes down the middle, there is a chance that you're going to get caught out. So then just be mindful, be paying attention to the map, both for your planes and for your uh, ship itself. For the most part, your ship's going to take care of itself from subs, from anything that gets too close, from other airplanes. So you don't have to worry about that too much. It's just trying to make sure that you are not getting countered spot too much. So this is more the advanced tactic of being proactive um, and engaging with your team um, and being an actual true aircraft carrier. Because the closer you are, the more planes that you can send out because they have a less distance to travel. So that is basically the ship part of the cat this portion of it um let me know down in the comment sections if you do or do not agree but there's two easy versions either you sit and kind of be don't care about your ship or you could be more advanced and you know push your uh self just a little bit to be maintaining both your planes and your ship availability most of the times carriers do have a pretty low detection range but make sure to pay attention if you see that uh icon pop up that your ship has been detected make sure you map um, where your ship needs to go. Also, mapping can be a little technical too, because it can go do 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 do, and you're fine, right? That's the normal nine times out of ten, it will do it. But then sometimes it just says, "Nah, I'm gonna go this way to get here." I'm like, "Why?" Um, so just be mindful and just make sure that your mapping coordinates are going appropriately as a ship. Now, tactically, as an airplane. Um, this is the most important part. So the first thing that I typically do is I use my strike aircraft and I am going to try to get about right here or here, just depending on where I'm at and how many carriers are in the game. But my goal is to not so much try to lose the strike aircraft as much as possible. It's try to spot these bad boys right here, those destroyers. So you're trying to spot the, uh, destroyers as much as possible so that pre prevents them from going into the cap and then also just has a chance to um for your team to take a little pop shots at them and trying to get them low um what i sometimes do it's probably not the best practice but i will drop my uh aircraft on them if needed um it just depends if i could tell that i could do better than this aircraft carrier um i can tell that i could drop off aircraft um, that's more of a late game tactic of dropping off your aircraft and hopefully it still will still try to attack it. So it just depends on what your DD captain's doing and if they have their anti-air air defense on or not. So that's the biggest part is at least the beginning of the game, I'm trying to spot these other destroyers to prevent them from going into the cap, right? Um, and then if I'm trying to be proactive, I would probably kind of appear and do the same thing. So... I'm going to go, let's say we're going to go up here. So we went up here. Um, the next thing is I would then look for, um, at least in the beginning of the game, 
it's hard for your planes. Yes, you could still get a strike off. I know that's possible. But um, if you have a battleship and cruiser still like close like that, you will lose a lot of your planes. Granted, it doesn't really matter too, too much. But um, it matters a little bit more towards the end game. So try to preserve your planes as much as possible, yet you could still go after it. So like after one run on a battleship with your torpedoes, then you could like send them back and then get your dive bombers or whatever the next planes that you have um, and potentially go after that same battleship. Um, my priorities are typically going to be battleships over... Well, priorities are your destroyers, um, because one, once they're spotted, there's not too much that they can do. The next after that is going to be the battleships. And then I leave the cruisers to last because the cruisers are the ones that would actually technically do the most damage to you, um, besides an aircraft carrier. So just keep that in mind. So you always want to go target these bad boys and, you know, basically pay attention to the map. Um, that's the other thing is just pay attention to the map. As long as you're paying attention to the map, you know where you are needed. Um, for example, you see this cap circles being flipped. Hmm. They're probably a destroyer there. And so if I send my aircraft here somewhere in here, I'm going to probably spot him and then prevent him from capturing it or helping my team spot him. So it's just trying to be the hardest thing for a carrier is to be just focusing on the map. I know it's kind of um, a crazy tactic, but basically you want to look at your map, make sure that everything is where you want it to be, um, or you see something of an opportunity, like you see a battleship is finally on its own up here on the flank, then perfect, go after it. Um, but don't just stay focused on it every single time. Um, because, you know, yes, I, if I get this battleship up here, but there's two destroyers that are closing in, I need to focus on the destroyers type of thing. So just make sure you take your priorities. So just go down the list of, go down the list of the destroyers, then the battleships, then your cruisers, then carriers. Um, and you have, you could touch everything all at once, technically, if you think about it. So make sure you plan ahead of time. It's a lot more strategic um, this time around. Um, granted, you have more free will, so that's also the good thing. So you could literally just spot, especially towards the end of the game. If it's just you uh, and one other ship and they have a destroyer, you can just spot him for days until your teammate can get him or unless you can get him. So... That's the good news. Um, overall, for the carriers, it's not that hard. Um, you just have to be mindful of like whenever the team has broken a flank that you need to watch out because you are going. If you are spotted, you are going to be the first target probably destroyed, um, or just what they focus on because they hate you. Carriers are very much hated um, in this game. Not as bad, but they're still, there's not really much of a counter to you. So that's the biggest thing. So I've seen a lot of new players just try to f send everything all at once down the middle. Um, I wouldn't recommend that because yes, it still is helpful and you're able to spot things, but your planes die and it's not helpful at all. Uh, the other thing too, I know this is more map, this is supposed to be a more map tactics thing, but go into a practice lobby. If you are struggling with the timing of things, go into a practice lobby, figure out the timing of when your planes drop stuff or how to make it narrow or whatever the case may be so that you know, all right, it takes me three seconds to drop it. So if it takes me three seconds to drop it, I need to get my planes like in this position and they need to go straight for three seconds and then I can drop my torpedoes or whatever the case may be. So just keep that in mind. I know you could technically go this way, but sometimes it's more dangerous because you have more ships that could technically kill off your planes. So this is probably the better route per se. So just, it takes a lot of practice a little bit to become like an expert carrier. But once you get the hang of like the timing of your drops, that's whenever you become dangerous. And then you could take, I would not take direct flights to a ship. So like, obviously I see a cruiser here. He's going straight. I would kind of come out and then in, you know, so that I'm meeting him right there and I'm able to go straight for my whatever time period it needs. So, and also if I'm going straight at him, right, 
I, I'm obviously telling him that I'm coming at him. And whenever I'm like doing this little curve bit here, he doesn't really know that I'm coming at him. And then also on top of that, it takes, you know, he's not going to be able to avoid it as much. Yes, he could if he's paying attention very well, but there's likelihood that they're not paying attention whenever you take a sudden left turn, you know, type of thing and you're able to go straight. So just keep that in mind. You have a bird's eye view and that is probably the most dangerous thing. But hopefully you guys enjoy. Check out the other map tactics over here on the right hand side or whatever side that is for you guys. Anyways, thanks. Bye bye. <laughs>